morning Facebook family and YouTube subscribers. Um, I'm sitting here having a cup of coffee and I noticed yesterday, I didn't see it, but I, I just saw a video clip of it, of Don Lemon on The View talking about his points that he made about Bill O'Reilly being correct and agreeing with Bill O'Reilly, who is a Fox um, News spokesperson. I wouldn't even say he's more of a... Um, Oh gosh, he works at Fox News and he just is, is a person who speaks his mind about certain issues. Um, he's, uh, he's an, I wouldn't call him a newscaster, or, but I would say, he, or an anchor, we didn't even call him an anchor man, but he speaks his opinion and I respect his opinion. He, everybody, this is America. I respect his opinion and I also respect what Don Lemon had to say. But let me read what, um, Oh, but basically, Bill Riley just said, he, he, the statement, the reason there is so much violence and chaos in the black precincts is the disintegration of the African-American family. Raised without much structure, young black men often reject education and gravitate towards the street culture of drugs, hustling, gangs. Nobody forces them, nobody forces them to do that. Again, it's a personal decision. I agree one million percent with what Bill O'Reilly said. That's a personal decision. Nobody's making them guys go out there and sell drugs to survive. You don't have to do that. You don't have to be done. You don't have to do. You don't have to violate any law to survive in America, unless you want to do it. That's a personal decision. Now, Don Lemon said that Bill's got a point. And he offered a short list of tips to assist black men in bettering, them, bettering themselves in their community. Five little things Don Lemon said. Pull up your pants. That, yeah. Get your belt. Get you some pants that fit. Pull that shit up on your fucking ass. Stop using the N-word. I'm guilty of that. I call you niggas niggas all day long. Sue me. Respect where you live. Don't let y'all some nasty motherfucking niggas. And I'm telling the truth, man, because I've lived in white neighborhoods and I've lived in black neighborhoods, and black neighborhoods are filthy. We just moved to a black neighborhood. Y'all niggas are filthy. Y'all don't want to pick up no trash. I've never seen so much trash in my entire. Just take your trash, baby diapers, everything, just throw it on the ground and keep on driving. He is not lying. And this is the part I don't understand. They got 10 big dumpsters over here. Why would anybody take their trash and throw it next to the dumpster We you can throw it in the dumpster? Why would you take big bags of baby diapers, the baby didn't crap in these diapers, and take this stuff and throw it on the ground next to the dumpster, all this trash next to the, to the dumpster? You know, I, I, and I had went over there because our unit is right next to the little dumpster. And... Something like we got these rats running around here because they're eating and feeding all this off these rats or rodents or whatever you want to call them or squirrels, whatever. So I'm kind of trying to pick the trash up and throw it in the dumpster. The dumpster's right there. Because you do it next to the dumpster. Why can't you just put it in the dumpster? Because we're nasty and we're disrespectful to each other. Finish high school. That sounds like a challenge within itself, especially if you're finishing high school in African-American school districts that are not giving you um, a decent education. We know that's a problem. But it would help to finish high school. It wouldn't be that difficult to finish high school if a lot of these kids were not having kids at 15, 16, 17 years of age and therefore having to go hustle drugs to pay for these kids and it's family that they created at 15, 16, and 17 years of age. Too soon to start creating children. I'm 43 years of age. I have zero children. I got two badass cocker spaniels running around here, and I'm worried about how the hell I'm going to feed their asses sometimes. You cannot buy dog food with an EBT card. I can assure you, I have tried. All right, so finish high school is very, very important. And it shouldn't be that difficult to finish high school. You can, even if you just walk out there dead last, just show up, they'll give you a diploma. At least be able to read what's on the diploma, though. That would be nice. Stop having children out of red lockdown. Lemon deserves a Oscar 
war award for that statement right there. Stop having children out of wedlock. Stop the bullshit, people. And that right there is the number one reason black America is so messed up today. Too many people walking past the condom section in CVS or Kroger at the local gas station. Too many women driving by doctor's offices and not getting birth control pills. Too many people who like to enjoy sex and having children outside of marriage when they're not ready. They can't afford them. They got five and six kids. What's the point? Why are we so stupid? I don't want to hear this shit about white folks do it, Mexicans do it, green people do it, they doing it on Mars. Nobody give a fuck what they're doing up there on Mars where you got to deal with your nigga ass right here. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to use that ink nigga word. Don't forgive me. I'm working on it. I am. But these niggas piss me off. They act so fucking ignorant. You know, y'all got the nerve to get mad. Y'all got the nerve to get mad at Don Lemon because what he said made you all angry. Pull up your pants. Stop using the N-word. Respect where you live. Don't litter. Finish high school. Stop having children out of wedlock. And you niggas got mad. We mad. We can't stand Don Lemon. I can't believe he said that shit. Yeah, he said it. And it should have been said more. He could have he could have went a whole lot further from what he said. Cause I, <laughs> this is a little small five list of things. Are y'all upset about that? Everything is everything that man said was true and correct. Everything Bill O'Reilly said was true or correct. Why are we not willing to listen to people give a critical analysis? These really ain't too critical. These are simple little things. Pull up your pants, stop using the N-word, respect where you live, don't litter. Finish high school. Stop having children out of wedlock. And we upset. When I read these comments that people were pissed and they said they died a sellout, I'm like, where did he sell out? Because I agree with him. 1,000%. Everything the man said was true. What's wrong with us? Why are we not getting it? Why are we not understanding? Are we that dumb? Are we that naive? Are we that lost? We don't get it. We don't want to get it. We don't want to understand. We want to just keep doing what we've been doing. We're going to walk down the street with our underwear showing for the next 17,000 years. And I don't want to see your underwear. I really don't. It is disrespectful. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see your litter. I don't want to see your trash all up and down Candle Road, Memorial Drive. When I drive through Peachtree Street up Buckhead, it's clean. You hit Memorial Drive and them side streets, South Harrison, Reed Ann Road, Candle Road, Old National Highway, filthy. People just take their trash and throw it everywhere. Take old mattress and just toss it. Don't give a shit. Give me a break. This man was not lying. And you true women are having these kids. I don't know. I don't understand the point of that. You men impregnating these women. These women having these children. Well, it's like a hobby or something. I got five kids. Girl, I got seven. Working on my eighth. Why? So destructive, but don't even realize it. Don, thank you. I agree with you. 1,000%. Everything you said was true. And to you niggas out there that had a problem with it, please go find the tallest building in the city that you live and jump from it. That's what you need to do. And do us all a favor. Anyway, if you like my videos, click like. I'm ready to get up here from Cook Some Breakfast. And uh, give me some feedback, those of you who haven't jumped from the tallest building in the decrepit city in which you live. Um, and let me know how you feel about today's video.
it's sad that we that this man said some very valid points and people got upset and angry and they pissed about the truth. Anyway, you guys have a great day. I'm out. Bye.